Hello everyone, welcome back to Sterling Share Homestead, where Maddie and Isaac and a scared Anna <laughs> install a mini split air conditioner in the tiny house. It's got a heat pump in it too, so it works down to like two degrees outside. It keeps us warm yet. I'm in the process of switching over the drain hose, but right now we just finished out the the top portion where the mounting bracket goes, so it'll go right up there. And uh, soon we'll get this all installed. There, we're gonna run the the piping just outside of this. We'll we'll go through the wall and then down through the wall to get to the outside. You can see the box that it came in. It's a pretty big box. We'll be back with you in a little bit. I'll give you guys some more insights once we're a little closer to done. What? All right, the the most nerve-wracking part is done. We drilled through to the outside. Let me take you out there. Let's see if we got it right. I have to put on my shoes, slippers in this case. Everything's a mess because it's off the couch <laughs> or in places it's not used to being. And we'll see where this came out. You coming too, Anna? All right. Let's see. Ooh. Careful. So we're out. Ooh, that's in a great spot. Yeah? It's uh it's protected on top. That's excellent. Okay. It's not cracking. Here I was all worried. You know, it's cracked a little bit here and it's cracked a little bit here. You guys can see that at home. It's cracked on the bottom side. But the bottom side crack doesn't bother me nearly as much as if it would have hit the top part. That's an excellent spot. So we drilled through, and now we'll uh, we'll put the PVC pipe in there. We'll fit it all up, and we'll glue it. What we're gonna have to do is clean off the siding first. So we'll clean this off so there's not as much gunk. You can see, like a little bit of a rub it takes most of that away. So we'll do that, and we'll be back. Yeah. And there we go. <laughs> it is the portal to the outside. <laughs> Maddie's probably gonna be coming around there a little bit, but that worked. Used a four-inch hole saw, and now where do we put that PVC piece right here. So this is a three-inch PVC piece, and this should fit right in there. Yep, and seal up almost all of that hole. So the only thing we have to do is worry about the little tiny gaps on that. So we'll put that on the outside. Connect a little piece, we'll secure it to the edge of this wood here so it doesn't move, and then we'll be set. And then we can run our lines. You can see them right here. See you in a bit. Okay, got the piece in. Now that you look at that from the outside, it looks quite nice with the, the pipe underneath there. So we'll run some caulking. You guys can kind of see that underneath there. And around the top, a really bad camera angle. Not too bad as far as the hole size. We were pretty darn close with what we needed. Matched up the hole saw and four and an eighth inches. I've got about an eighth inch reveal there. So we'll put some caulk bead there and that should seal it with no issue. So I'll do that right now. I'll get that all caulked in. And then I'm gonna show you guys the inside here too. In case you're wondering what brand we're putting in, we're putting it in aux split type wall mounted AC unit. It's got a heat pump in it too. So if it's warmer than zero degrees, it's like 90, well not quite 90, 85% of the year for us, we can use the heat pump in it as well. And the way that comes out, we have it attached with a strap on the side of the wall there. Hello Minecraft. <laughs> And uh, we'll run all of our conduit things through there, the hot and cold pipe. It'll go through there, we'll uh, cover it up, make it look pretty, and then we'll spray some foam on the inside of this to seal that off. And we'll probably put some nice decorative things around the inside of the pipe here because it's a little bit smaller diameter on the inside. But it worked out great. We'll run stuff through and color good. I actually have to caulk too. We're gonna use hashtag sponsored, not sponsored, flex stuff. <laughs> we 
we won't show the brand, so we'll get in trouble. <laughs> it's it's the guy that is he? What's his name? Billy Mays? No, that that was that was before. No, it's OxyClean. Sorry, my apologies. Anyway, we'll do that, and then we'll uh, try and run some some copper yet tonight. Get those all squared away and in where they're supposed to go. Be right back. So that's the unit itself. And we uh, got this piece in. It goes just below the siding, which is great. All sealed up. The caulking job was a little iffy, but we needed to make sure we got a nice thick bead of caulk on it. All the way under and around the top so that for sure it's sealed everywhere. And it's looking like we're all right. I might uh, take my finger and spread that a little bit better over there, but otherwise we're good. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now, just cause the last thing I want is for us to not have enough. I'll spread that out. There we go, okay. So it covers that siding bit. All right, so that's all done. Ew. <laughs> and, uh, I'll probably wash my hands now too. But now that that's all squared away, we'll let that dry overnight because the sun is going down. Beautiful sunset tonight. It's just really cold out. I think the high today was like 42. <laughs> so we'll let this dry overnight and then we'll put the rest of it through tomorrow and run it out and then hopefully figure out what we're gonna do for a pad for our unit out outside here. It's gonna go right in the back, right in this open space here, just behind the ladder. I'm gonna stick it right here. So, see you in a bit. Hopefully it won't take us too long and it'll be done in one day. At least that's the plan. Till then. Okay, so we finally got everything hooked up for the AC. We have it set at 60. And the remote says it is currently 75 in the house. We literally just hooked this up two minutes ago. So this is the first time we're testing it and it feels as though, oh yes, it's as cold as it should be coming out of there. We're supposed to have, it's Memorial Day weekend for us, we're supposed to have uh, temperatures in the 90s and hopefully this will fix our issues. The uh, person who came to take care of our um, ceiling issue, it literally took them what, an hour? Less, less than an hour, 45 minutes to take care of the issue. And after that, we're all set up and it's all good to go. So I'll take you this way and show you how we hook this up. I've got a temporary setup right now. This is a 10-2 wire that is underground rated. So it's not UV shielded, but I'm just testing it out and making sure it works the way it's supposed to work. But everything is sealed up now. You can see the fan is running if I get you guys close. And it's definitely putting out hot air over here. The uh, refrigerant line here, that is ice cold to the touch, which is excellent. So now that this is set, we've got everything working and running the way it's supposed to work. We just gotta do some tests on it to make sure it works the way it's supposed to work. And then uh, we are good to go for the foreseeable future. But the way I put this in, I had originally planned on running an extension cord, which I think I could have got away with. However, on the back of the machine, it said it was uh, 17 amp of draw, and parts were using up to 25 amps at a time. So I decided, the heck with that, I'll put another 30 amp breaker in here. I happen to have a 30 amp two pole, which right now I'm just using one of the poles for. So the other one is active, but not being used, which is fine. And uh, we can use that to take care of the, the cooling issue in here, in the tiny house anyway, for the foreseeable future. And then when I get time this summer, I will, I want to actually go through and bury all this cable. So I've got two extension cords running here. I'll put it in conduit and get it all the way out to here and put a little pigtail on there so it can come out. But it's looking like it's working and that's the important part. I'll give you some updates in a little bit from the inside, but that's what's going on right now. It's running and hopefully running the way it should be. Oh, 
Oh, well, it seems to be working all right. The only thing that's broken, the up, up and down oscillation is working. The left and right, the little grooves inside the, the fan, they aren't moving left and right like they're supposed to. And I'll try and troubleshoot it a little bit tomorrow, but where is it going to go if it gets shot left and right? No, it's like, not going it, anywhere. It's, there, there's no... It's like two feet from the wall. We don't have, so a, we don't it's have okay. a room big enough. The, the upside is now it is 69 in here compared to what it was earlier, 75-ish. Well, uh, our external thermometer says that. This says it's 73. This says we're 73 now, which makes way more sense. So it's working pretty nice. It's very cold when it blows down on you. It's going to be a comfortable weekend. We have a nice weekend, and we got it all done, and we actually did it ourselves minus our... 80%. Our, well, I say 80% ourselves minus the, the line set hookup, but it's done now. So, anyway, so if you're one of those people who wants to do it yourself, more than likely you're going to have to hire an HVAC technician to seal these up and call them like a solid month ahead of time because yep. Yep. Call if, it's, if, it's, you think you need if it's the busy season, you're not going to get one for a while, which and is a shame. They will not come out unless it's 65 degrees or warmer. Yep, because uh, it has to be a minimum temperature in order to take care of the system. So, anyway, we are all good to go now. So, for those of you who like watching, please consider liking and subscribing. And uh, oh, and shout out to Central Air in Wisconsin Rapids. Thanks, guys. Yes, they came in clutch. I I don't know that you'll ever see this, but. They close at four, and their guy got out here at four, and he was so nice. I think his name was Alex. He was very nice. So I don't know if anyone from there will see this video, but thank you. Yes. Thanks a bunch. We've been waiting for a month, so. <laughs> All right. See you later, everybody.